Welcome back guys to the Lenner Acoustic Cavitation Reactor Design. Right off the bat, the goal here is to use low cost economical stuff that people can buy on eBay or machine themselves. And we wanna make this open source. The main aspects of this design, we've got very high purity, let's say 99.9 .9 plus nickel wire going from input to output on, on a little spool. The nickel wire is going to be pulled through essentially like cord grips that are gonna seal on the pressure. We're gonna slide it through there, so we've gotta have the wire be thick enough to handle being pulled through those cord grips. We'll probably put like two little Mitotoyo micrometer adjusters on there for this project so that we can get that wire exactly where it needs to be in that cavitation implosion. Our ultrasonic horn is going to be designed so it has a concave top to it, okay? So it's gonna be an acoustic lens, and then the opposite face is another matching concave acoustic lens, so it's a little hemisphere. That bottom one's going to be adjustable is what I'm thinking. So we'll fix the top one with its own cord grip so that that acoustic energy can travel through here and not just end up going into our manifold block. That acoustic energy will go to that sonoluminescent implosion site. We can adjust that focusing with this bottom acoustic lens adjustment. We've got our 300 PSI safety valve here so that I don't in this experiment. Let's look at the controls. So we've got 120 volts coming in our control box with Raspberry Pi in it. Nice big computer screen so that we can see all of our Excel data and our Python code that's going to run to control this thing. 